Welcome back everybody to another tutorial video where today I will be showing you how to remove the pressing sensors off of the Ibex pressing furnace. The only tool you'll need in this demonstration is a small standard screwdriver. First, I want you to go ahead and take off the top and back covers off of the furnace so that you have access to your pneumatic cylinder where all your cables are. I will put the link in the description to that video if you need help. Next, go ahead and find the pressing sensor cables and disconnect them from the pressing fan. You can move the sensors to the side to help untangle them from any of the other cables. Next, take a small standard screwdriver and untighten the screws on the pressing sensors. Once untightened, if you need a little help removing the sensors, you can use the flat side of the screwdriver to help push the sensors upwards. Once both sensors have been removed, take them and set them aside and grab one of your new sensors. These sensors work in both positions, so it does not matter which one you grab. Take the sensor and insert it so that the screw is on the bottom side of the insert. Next, you want to raise the lower sensor so that you create a small square space, and then tighten it very lightly. This is so you do not affect how the sensor reads the position of the pressing rod. In this photo, you can see how much space to leave between the sensor and the top of the cylinder. Next is to take your upper sensor and insert it so that the screw is at the top side of the pneumatic cylinder. Again, tighten it lightly and I'll show you a brief photo of what it sh the spacing should look like. Here is a photo of how much spacing you should have between the sensor and the top of the pneumatic cylinder. To finish off, you want to take the upper pressing sensor and connect it to the cable labeled upper on the pressing fan. Once connected, take the lower pressing sensor and connect it to the cable labeled lower on the pressing fan. To finish off, give a light tug on the sensors to make sure they are locked into place and not loose in any way. Alright, if you have any further questions, I will leave our contact information in the description. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to be notified of when we post more videos. And thank you very much for watching. Adios!